Hey guys, Mallard with another stamp video. Today I'm going to show you part one of my two part German stamp collection. So, this stamp collection has actually taken me um, a long time to do, probably over a year to collect all these and to organize them into um, what you're going to see today. But it's been really fun, really cool to collect all these German stamps. So, um, we're seeing it going. So, up here you see I got my older ones. Let's work our way down. Yeah, these are these are the stamps from the 1800s. Um, these guys usually bring a little bit of value. Um, the ones up there I don't think have too much, but I'm still they're super super early for Germany. Next page. These are usually pretty common. Um, you can find these almost in any stamp collection or any stock book or even old album. You guys, see those twos. Now this guy's really interesting. So I picked him up. Um, out of just a random pile of stamps of what's in the box, except of course I didn't videotape because it was a while ago. A double overprint, um, yeah, that could be worth a lot of money. Um, that means they ran through the printer twice. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I would need to take that to get a professional get it checked out, but that's a really interesting stamp. If you guys have any information on that, let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Um, again, sorry for the wax paper, but it's what I have. Um, so yeah. Organize these by denomination, um, not by year, um, when they were made. So um, if you're a little confused why some older stamps are after some of the newer stamps, it's because I just did by denomination. I thought that was the easiest way to organize all these guys, so that's what I did. If there was a different shade with this stamp, I also separated it. Obviously, 10. 10 is orange, 10 is red, so I switched it. 15 is like a darker blue, 15 is like this... I don't know, orange yellow color. Again, different shades of 20. 25. Yeah, there's a ton of these guys. I did my best. I hope I didn't forget any denomination and leave any out. Yeah, there's just pages and pages of these guys. Took a long time to organize. We do a few overprints here. This is my Belgium overprint page that we're going to say. I had enough of them, so I decided to take up a whole page of them. And then this next page is just all my overprints I have. So we got some Morocco, China, whatever that is. I tried to keep the overprints that are same on the same line. As you can see, I think SAR means peace. I'm not sure. Um, Gabrielle Gold, correct me if I'm wrong, please. If you see any of these that are worth anything, let me know. Um, I haven't had the time to, to look them up or look them up yet. these guys she took a I should, probably shouldn't have done a whole page of these but I did that one's one of the older ones it just says Reich post instead of here you see Dutch Reich yeah so that's an older guy some mint over here another few mint ones over there Mill. Yeah, and these may not be in the best order, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I did the best I could with what I kind of knew about them. Yep, and now this is where it gets pretty crazy. There's a ton of those guys. I know some of these um, can be valuable if they're used, and some of them are valuable if they're mint. Again, I'm not a professional German stamp collector. I just have organized these over the past year or so. So this is an interesting overprint. I know that's worth a little bit of money. A 
fingerprints here. So if you just want to pause the video at any moment, just do it. You can look at them a little better. Again, we got some more. You can tell the difference. See how there's like a little, I don't know, orange color. There's no orange color there. They did that for a few of these different ones. Here's where the fingerprints start. Again, these are the stamps we saw on the one of the previous pages, but now they have 400 stamped over them or five or an eight. And as you can tell, if I'm missing something, I usually put the denomination that it should be. So there should be a stamp like this that has a 20 on it. I just don't have it. Yeah. Got a lot of mint of those, a lot of use of those. Some airmail, obviously I don't have 25, 40, looks like 60. 80 maybe got all these down here though not as valuable as the ones up there yep. all right so again what I did or another but no nomination and then across from them I put the overprint ones all right if any of these have value let me know I don't know I know a little bit but not a ton All right, these ones you might have to pause the video and look at them closer. So there's a denomination stamped underneath, or there's a denomination that stamp is, and then there's a denomination that's stamped on top. Um, so you can see here this denomination underneath says 300 with a 75 on top. This denomination down here says 1000 with a 75 on top. So if you just need to look at these closely, you can. Different variations, I organized them the best I could. I think I did a good job. I'm not sure, but yeah, really interesting page, and of course they keep going. They've got a pretty full sets down here. This overprint and that one. Pretty proud of those. And now we get to where I'm starting to miss stuff, obviously. Again, some more of these overprints. Yep, see now we're getting a little more bare, but I still want to show you guys this whole collection that I have. Even if there isn't that much on these pages, I still want to show you. Hopefully we'll fill them up one day. Yep, I just have a few of these that I put in here. Organize them the best I could. Obviously this page is blank. I think it's the emergency. I'm not sure. Stamps don't have them. Done a pretty good job with these types of stamps. They got the mustache. Sorry, I don't know the history of these. You guys are probably laughing at me like I should know. But I don't see that overprint down there. I think it's on this one too. Yep. So I just put buildings. I'll have to go back and figure out what that means. Um, yeah, so I got some Zeps up here. These I know these bring a little value. So this is just my Zepp page, and I have, as you can tell, they're all Zeppelins on them. Um, so I actually found those four in a old album I got from an antique store for 40 bucks. Um, I saw this one first, and then I went through it, and they're just on random pages, not even in Germany. 
Um, so yeah, super pumped to pick those up. Those are awesome. Keep going. These are getting more and more common. They're easier to find. Obviously, you have a lot of them. Added a different variation. Got the black trim. Over prints. Again, I try to keep the overprints together. And now I think we get kind of, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my Germany stamp collection part one. Um, so, those are pretty much my um, older German stamps um, from Germany. So, part two is going to be more of like the colonies of Germany. Um, some super special stamps. So um, be on the lookout for that. That should be right after this video. Um, thank you guys for watching.